In this video, I am going to show you how to make a basic Yagi antenna. There are several applications on internet to design Yagi antennas. I am using Yagi calculator by John Drew. If you didn't watch my previous video on making a bicoid antenna, which I am currently using with my router, you can watch it by clicking here or you can find the link in the description. Main fact of Yagi antenna design is frequency. You should choose the lowest value of that frequency band. You can find those details from Wikipedia. Enter frequency and click calculate. Application will automatically add some suitable values for other factors. Go back to the previous window by clicking back button. You can choose how many directors you are going to use. More directors means higher gain and antenna becomes more directional. So adding more directors may not going to help you always. I am using 12 directors. You can use square or round section boom. Find a good 50 ohm coaxial cable. Because lot of signal losses happen due to the bad coaxial cable. If your coaxial cable not shown here, go to this Wikipedia page and you can find the velocity factor for that specific cable. Enter that value by clicking Use Set Velocity Factor. There are some options available in this application to choose what kind of directors, reflectors and driven element you are going to use. All elements positions are measured from back of the antenna. Dipole construction shown at right side of the interface. Measurements can be found in right below to the director positions. Find the balloon construction by clicking balloon button at right side of the interface. Go to the menu and click manual. You can get good knowledge about Yagi antenna from manual. Don't forget to go through over those details. There are very detailed instructions you can find here. I am using welding rod for reflector, dipole and directors. Aluminium square tube for boom.
Yagi is a highly directional antenna and it is not good for catching those signals coming from wider directions. I just made this only to show you how to make a basic Yagi antenna. I know this is not much of a speed when considering bikeward antenna. Because around my home, it must be getting signals bounced off from large objects. And bikeward antenna is good for catching those signals. For the second speed test, I added some sheet metal reflector and it's showing some significant improvement. Hope you guys have a successful build. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Watch my other video on bikeward antenna. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.